If you want Benedict XVI and John Paul II to be with you in 2010, it's pretty easy. On a monthly basis, you can take a look at the best photos of the popes in this calendar made by the Vatican's Photographic Archives, a very special calendar made right here at the Vatican. The idea came about at the Vatican's Photographic Service because with such a vast photographic heritage, it would be a shame not to use these great pictures to share images of the Pope. Every year, there are about one million snapshots to choose from of Benedict XVI for the calendar, a special selection that has to meet strict criteria. It's an aesthetic criterion. We look for images that are beautiful and meaningful and that transmit facial expressions, like the Pope's smile, but we also use others that show the Pope with people at meetings. In all, some 40,000 copies are distributed and available in several formats and sizes. They're sold in the Vatican and are also available at newsstands throughout Italy and on the Internet. And although John Paul II died five years ago, he continues to break record sales. Images and calendars with John Paul II are more popular, but we also receive requests for those with Benedict XVI. The calendar showcases some of the most memorable moments of their pontificates, along with their closeness to the public, special meetings with heads of states, and others that should never be forgotten. We want to depict the Pope as the father of all people, not just of Christians and Catholics, but of the whole world, a Pope who relates to everyone and who goes out to others. We show a peaceful and smiling person, a person full of humanity. This is the calendar's third edition, and for the 2011 version, the calendar comes with the Vatican's official agenda. We're preparing an agenda that will be filled with beautiful pictures for 2011. An agenda and the best pictures of the popes that the public will have to wait for another 12 months to see on newsstands.